everybody um welcome welcome back to my youtube channel so i cannot believe this time has come <laughs> i knew that i wanted to show you guys everything that i collected over time and i did collect this over time and i would highly recommend you guys do this especially if you know that you've got a second option which is kind of like your safety net for university i would highly recommend that you collect slowly throughout the time i feel like now i've actually taken everything out i have collected a lot of things yeah today's video is going to be a what i got for uni video um the ins and outs things that i think are essential things that i think that are just not essential um everything like that so i've organized everything into piles around me which might have been a mistake because later on i am going to regret doing that and you can kind of see one of the piles over here which is going to be the first pile that i go through actually then i also have these i think they're I have two 50 litre plastic storage boxes, which majority of this stuff fits into pretty easily. So I would highly recommend doing this, especially if you have like males helping you. I know like my mum personally, she is disabled, so she won't be able to carry these plastic boxes, but I know that my boyfriend is coming with me as well. So he'll be able to carry these boxes where I can't. These ones are quite high quality. I paid a little bit of money for them from home base. Um, but I paid a little bit more money and I kind of invested in them because I'm at uni for three years. I've got to move in and out of uni probably in total around six to seven times. So I, you know, I need these to last. So let's just get started. I'm going to start off with the small amount of things I have for like my room. I didn't actually, I haven't really brought that much for my room, like as in like random things. So I have some tech um stuff going on i have this keyboard which i got gifted well i got given by my boyfriend because my boyfriend has his own computer gaming setup um, and this is a keyboard that he no longer uses so i'm going to be taking this keyboard and then i also just got myself a little uh disconnected mouse which will also be really good for like editing powerpoints and things like that and it just gives you a bit more free movement than a laptop uh keypad like touchpad wheel i got a usb fan it's just a tiny little black desk fan really simple i got this from tiger i believe it was only five pounds it's really simple just a wired one but i've heard that uni accommodation gets really really cold in the winter and really really hot in the summer months so i wanted to have a little small fan i didn't want anything big that was gonna take up loads of room the last kind of like wired thing that i got was this flint gray desk lamp from habitat i actually ordered this from argos this is a really nice lamp is what the lamp looks like and it's got this little bendy thing here so you can angle the light however you want it and you've also got your little clip switch on and off uh, however i didn't buy light bulbs for this so i definitely need to go back onto argus's website and see what light bulbs this takes i've been watching uni packing videos and things like that and a lot of people have been saying that it's just good to have batteries you never know what you're going to need them for so i just have these ones which are pretty inexpensive these are the kodak super heavy duty zinc batteries so i have a 30 pack of AA batteries and a 30 pack of AAA batteries these i doodle essentials multicolor push pins i just got 50 of these i have a little push pin board in my accommodation and then also to go with that i got these quite early on as well i got these little mini prints i got three for 10 pound from brighton um so i got this really pre pretty little daisy print um this amazing coastal print right here at like sunset which was stunning and finally this kind of like malibu palm tree kind of style um picture as well and i thought all of these prints go really nicely together is this beauty box for from the range i believe that this was six pounds so one could be for my pens pencils and stuff like that on my desk and then two for my makeup brushes if that doesn't work out and I need more room and I use all three for makeup brushes, that's completely fine. I can always find a different pot just for um, pens and pencils on my desk. Also got this little guy right here, which may look a bit strange. It's like wired. I'm trying not to touch back any too much because it makes so much noise on the audio. Um, it's just like a little wide grid. This is a shoe rack. You literally just fold down these two legs and it just stands as a shoe rack and it gives you two shelves for shoe storage. This home free tier era. Um, this is from the range. I think I paid £14 for it. Um, it's a good size. It's white and black, so you can't really go wrong with those colours. Um, it's a good size. I don't really have any complaints. It's an air dryer. I don't really know what else I need to say. I also got one more kind of non-essential thing. And I got three of these because I got really carried away when I was in there and I couldn't choose any, like, one scent. Reed diffusers from Primark. I got the... Madagascan vanilla um, one, which is vanilla and patchouli. 
this one just smells so good. I also got the amber and patchouli reed diffuser. And then I finally got the cedar wood and amber. This right here is a very heavy bag. This is my cleaning bag. We have my clothing cleaning things. So I have the aerial gel for fabric conditioner. I got the comfort honeysuckle and sandalwood one. I believe this was two pounds. I think the aerial was four pounds. Then for any stains, I'm going to be giving the pink stuff a try. This is the spray on one. This is the Miracle Laundry Oxy Stain Remover. For washing up, I got myself a Dishmatic. And then I also just got some spare Dismatic refill heads. And these ones are the non-scratch ones. And you'll find that like a theme that I've done is I've kind of made sure that I've got things to last me quite a while instead of just getting, you know, enough for a couple of months because I just don't want to be stressed out about getting everything um, and forgetting important things, basically. I had to get some washing up liquid. I just got this small fairy clean and care rose and satin one. Then along those kind of like same lines as cleaning, I got some Sarah Smith sustainable cleaning cloths. They're great as well for just wiping down surfaces in your room with like a multi-surface um spray and then i also got some microfiber cloths as well this one is a free pack i don't i won't be needing three so if you guys can find yourself one i would probably say you only need one for uni so my room in my uni is carpeted so i got some things to clean carpets so first thing i got was recommended to me by my elder sister and this is the glade shake and vac with odor neutralizer in fresh lemon i also got the dr beckman carpet stain remover for home car and upholstery there is a story behind this. Um, we all know as uni people, when you go to uni, you're gonna have some spilt drinks. And I just thought this would be really good. I don't wanna have to be paying extra money for damaging the room. I've heard amazing things about this. It's more on the like pricier side for a cleaning product, but I just thought, you know, it's gonna last me the whole year, if not longer. And it's probably gonna be a lot worth it in the long run because it means I'm not gonna have a stain on my carpet. And I got the Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner. This is the wild rhubarb one. I'm cleaning the desk surfaces, cleaning the shelves, you know, just wiping everything down, keeping it clean. It can even be used on like the surface of the bathroom. So it's multi-purpose. I honestly think that if you guys are gonna get any sprays, I would just get a multi-purpose cleaning spray and maybe like a bathroom spray or a shower spray. Which moves me on nicely to the Sainsbury Daily Shower Spray. This one's huge. And then, of course, because I have my own toilet, um, I have an ensuite in my room in case I haven't mentioned that. So for my own toilet, I just got this uh, Dementos Unbeatable Strength Thick Bleach. And this is the Citrus Fresh. Just bleach, toilet bleach, to go down the toilet, to clean the toilet. <laughs> That talk about bathroom cleaner takes us nicely on to the bathroom things that I have got. I have these two little cute things here, which you obviously move around and glitters in them. This was something that we brought for our bathroom when me and my mum redid it last year. We ended up finding different soap dispensers that we wanted more in our bathroom. So saving me money, I'm just going to take these. So this is obviously your toothbrush holder, soap dispenser. These were originally brought from Asda, I believe. Also for the bathroom, I brought myself some organizing space. So I got this little shelf from Wilco and I thought even if this won't fit in the corner of my shower, there is always a corner of a bathroom that one of these will fit in. So I went for a corner one because I thought this was like the safest option. Then basic things for a bathroom. Uh, obviously you need yourself a toilet brush and a toilet brush holder. I just got this plain white one. I just got this white bin. I got this actually before the toilet brush because they didn't have the matching toilet brush to this um, in the in Asda at the time. I got myself one turby towel. This is a hair towel, a hair wrap, but it's from Primark. With the towels, I got two different sets. So when one towel, when one set of towels is in the wash, the other can be used in my bathroom. So I got this beautiful lilac shade of towels. Um, so this is their bubble bath mat um, and this was six pounds. It's one of their pure cotton hand towels in the same lilac color. This one was three pounds. And I also got a pure cotton bath sheet and this one was seven pound. If you guys didn't know, bath sheets are bigger than a bath towel. Um, and I did make the mistake of in the first set, I didn't buy a bath sheet. I brought 
a bath towel I think is what it's called so I would always recommend you go for a bath sheet because that's just bigger and it means you're going to dry yourself a lot easier okay, the next set of towels is a darker set I wanted one light one dark I don't know so I've got this beautiful green bath mat this was from Asda I believe so I got a free pack of face cloths these ones I'm just going to use them literally as a face flannel and um, when I remove my makeup so I don't get mascara and things on my towels okay I've removed the <laughs> tags from this one but this is a hand towel i think that this one was three pounds i want to say it was either three or two pound it was quite inexpensive and then i obviously got a bath towel as well which is definitely smaller than a bath okay, the final things uh yeah let's talk about the final things for like my main room i guess um like actually like my uni room <laughs> so let's start off with this laundry basket this is quite big um uh, but i just thought you know i've got to walk down to the laundry place i don't want everyone to be able to see like my underwear and clothes in there because i just find that a bit awkward if this one was six pound from the range quite a big one but i'll fit everything in it and i can just divide my laundry loads onto my bed and then put the one that i'm going to take to laundry in here so i got the cotton rich um 180 thread count housewife pillowcases these ones came from matland this was four pound for a two pack i also have the 180 thread count deep fit sheet um obviously the 200 count is slightly better but yeah i need to grab a, another one of these but you know i'll grab it eventually but basically i will have two of these then i have this bedding set this one is this one was from matterland and it's just like a constellation one and you have a reversible of white <laughs> bed sheet kind of set that i got was this gray spot printed bed seat uh bed sheet um and if you guys can see it's like this really nice uh the board print and these are both in singles um again from watching uni videos like packing videos and things like that i've learned that having two types of bedding is the best well, say if you've got a busy day and you've only got one set of bedding then you've got to wash it dry it put it back on your bed before the night so do you really want to be having to do that when you could just strip it off and then put a whole new bed seat straight uh bed set straight on and then wash the bedding you know in a in a couple of days so you've got a bit more flexibility to washing times uh, i spent pretty a fair amount of money on my bed because that's important to me is having a good night's sleep so i got these slumber down uh better sleep for everybody big hugs pillows these are the medium support ones my mum actually managed to find a bargain so she got me this soft touch duvet um and this is a 15 tog duvet obviously a single it was originally 16 pound and my mum got it for eight pounds which was half price um we were quite pleased with this piece of information to get this for cheap um 15 tog because in the winter it gets really really cold in uni accommodation and in the summer i can always just sleep with my throw which you guys will see later on and the thing that i actually spent the most money on which is what i mean by splash to cash is i got a slumber down mattress topper it's more on the expensive side i would say it's probably more of a luxury as well but if you guys can get yourself a mattress topper i would recommend it because you're going to be so much more comfy this one has a good like layer of thickness like probably like this thick on top of it that will go on top of the mattress which is why i brought deep fitted sheets instead of a usual size fitted sheet just to allow for that extra bit of thickness that's going to be coming from the mattress topper like i said i spurge a little bit of cash on this but honestly it's just so that i can be comfortable and get great night's sleep then finally for accessorizing my bed i got these beautiful teal cushions hello um just one spare pillow because i don't think i'll be sleeping with this um but it'll be good for like sitting up to watch netflix and things this one was from b&m for eight pounds and i got the aspen faux fur throw again this is quite a big one so i could use this as a blanket as well so this is kind of like doubling it up as a blanket and a throw this one was 15 pound again more expensive but so was this pink one that's on the end of my bed around like 15 pounds um and this honestly if you guys could feel this it's just so soft and comfy okay moving on to kitchen i love cooking um just putting it out there so i got two of these beautiful little glasses this is what the glass looks like plain glass one glass that i got that i probably wouldn't recommend you getting is this one here this is that typical wobbly glass that pretty much 
everyone has at least one of these in their house you need a bigger glass especially like overnight so i just got a bigger glass for it. and i have three teacups slash mugs at the moment i will be having one more that i'll be taking from my family home so i've got this one with a little j on it for obviously jess um i've got a little j on it it will be perfect size for like a big hot chocolate in the winter for a big green tea for even a big cup of tea if i'm feeling it um then i got this really cute one with koala koalas koalas on i also when me and my boyfriend were on holiday i picked up a mug um and this is st ives and it literally just has the coast printed on it from st ives and i love it i'm obsessed with it so of course i'm gonna be taking that i got myself two little cereal bowls these ones were from the range i had a hell of a time trying to find some gray cereal bowls so here are my two gray cereal bowls and um, they're a pound each i believe then i got these two gray plates these ones are from ikea i got two small plates but they're like these beautiful gray plates more essentials is just a stir it up frying pan this is going to act as like a frying pan and a wok all in one for me i was looking for one that was just a tiny bit smaller than this but i couldn't buy and find it then i got a free pack of saucepans from ikea and of course if i don't end up needing one of these i'll just again let my mum or can just take it home with her it's this colander but it's not a normal colander this one folds out um so basically it just preserves space in your cupboard in the kitchen it just means you're not taking up as much room in your cupboard in the kitchen because it's like flat and then you just when you do your pasta you can pop it out King of like cooking things i got just a medium oven tray um, and then to go with that i just got some kitchen foil from Tesco's. some food containers i got these little glass ones from ikea they're really nice but they're also going to last me a very long time this one i thought would be really good for like fruit uh trail mix things like that and then i got two of the bigger ones that i can use as like takeaway lunches i think i went a bit crazy with utensils yeah i've got a bottle opener self-explanatory got a can opener this is a heavy duty one because i watched a youtuber that i watched quite a lot she brought a cheaper one and it did not work but this one's more of a heavy duty one and this was two pound fifty is a potato peeler slash peeler just a peeler Myself a massive wooden spoon from ikea this was a pound a really non-essential thing that you probably will not need as a whisk but i like i said like making fluffy american pancakes for breakfast every now and then. I have a spatula, self-explanatory for a frying pan. You use a spatula most of the time. Um, a pasta spoon. <laughs> Again, that is so unnecessary. Is a masher. I also got some cutlery. This is a 16 piece cutlery set. Obviously I don't need 16. I will probably only take half of these. But if you guys can tell, the handles are really, really distinguishable. So I know that this is my cutlery. Of course, for kitchen, you need knives. Here's my knife set. A bread knife, a big knife, a small one, and an even smaller one. Finally, something that I almost forgot for the kitchen was a chopping board. One more essential thing that I brought was just some tea, tea towels. I got a pack of four. I only really wanted a pack of two maximum, but I've heard from a lot of people that the tea towels get really grim in student accommodation, especially on campus. Moving on to more like non-essential things that you probably don't need. Number one, a cheese grater. The thing that is not a necessity is a scale myself a mixing jug a measuring <laughs> a measuring jug from wheelco as well as a little plastic mixing bowl again non-essential and the final thing that is really non-essential are these 30 clips to just close big bags of chips uh no of crisps um of like share bags of chocolate and things like that okay. sorry that the lighting has gone a little bit darker got interrupted by a phone call from my mum and her partner and obviously i don't want to ignore that um it was a really good phone call i've got some essential things already um that you obviously need when you're going to uni for example i got some bin liners so i got two i got the wheel coat full swing tie handle swing swing bin liners uh, which are like the 50 litre bag liners um, and that will line my bin that I'm going to be taking from my room to uni. And I also got a pedal bin one which is for the one that's going in my bathroom and then I've got this like little kind of like medical box I guess you would call it. So two things that aren't in there at the moment is just some Vaseline. This is the aloe vera one. Um, Compede plasters. I haven't actually fitted the, fit these in here yet. I've got elastoplasts. Um, 
Yep, I've done some waterproof, really good. I also have Asda sensitive plasters as well. Medicine wise, again, take your medicine carefully as you need it, as the required amount that you are recommended. I have my prescribed medica medican? medicine from my doctors for my migraines. I also have anodin. Be careful with whether you take anodin or not, because it can have bad side effects on certain people, but anodin is quite a strong tablet for headaches um i also have cold relief because freshers flu is a very common thing at uni I have some paracetamol plus and then i have nurofen express as well uh, i've got a lot of things for like you know muscle aches and headaches if you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and i see more videos from me and i'll catch you guys all in my next one bye